I think you could hear me. Okay, so Radiant or Kurchu is bad, and Jakiro Neil is good, and that's how we'll go through the game. That's all you need to know. So far, Coddle and Winter Ender are picked. I don't. There's not really synergy between those two picks. I can't remember if they had first pick or not. Because if you have first pick, having synergy like isn't as big of a deal because you're not like double picking the heroes. But uh, these two picks don't really have that much synergy either. It's kind of just this is probably their off lane. I'm guessing this is a four wind runner, wind runner, and a five cuddle. They're just. <laughs> I don't know, we see a Viper ban, but usually you don't ban Viper with these two picks. I don't know why you would ban it here. Hey man, Ricky. Ricky is a good hero. He got nerfed a lot, actually. He's, he's not nearly as good as he was. But I could, I could see banning him. He's still annoying. Banning Monkey King makes a lot of sense here. So who they ban next? Uh, they ban Inch. I guess uh, they weren't sure who to ban, and it's annoying for Winter Ranger if there's an Inch 5 and this Winter Ranger is 4. So you could purge you and just keep hitting you, and you'll win the trade every time. Ten seconds remaining. I don't know who they'd ban there. Looks like they're just banning annoying mid heroes. Wonder if they're leading into like an alchemist or something, but who knows? Dire team's turn to pick. If you ban Beastmaster, I think you either pick your five or your one here. I don't know the matchup between Oracle and Beastmaster, or if Kurchu just has a Beastmaster player that they're banning. There's a lot of like decent heroes become really good once Beast once Beastmaster is out of the pool. Surprised they don't ban Jug, considering they pick Mars. I'm pretty sure Oracle doesn't too, do too well against Jug either. I think you could have banned Beastmaster and picked Jug. Yeah, that pick doesn't really make any sense. Or, uh, like, no, it doesn't even, because uh, you can only kill the Oracle if he's, like, low HP. And fun fact, you could actually do the same thing with Invoker, except Invoker can do other stuff in the game, too. Because usually, I'm pretty sure Oracle against Axe is bad. For the Axe, because Oracle can actually stop him from cutting. And he can't use Battle Hunger, so he can't cut and he can't lane. But we'll see if it actually plays out that way, because Dota isn't a science. Let's see if I can get a face cam. I can't. Top right is probably a good place, I don't know. I don't know where you're supposed to put it. Radiant team's turn to pick. Kill 
CK? Uh, it seems like bad. Just picking that, picking that into Axe seems bad. But then again, the Axe is not really going to be a factor in this game, I'm guessing, because of the Oracle. He's going to have a really hard lane. And then by the time he get, gets to mid-game, I guess that's when CK doesn't like playing against him. Because, yeah, Axe will be a hero again around the mid-game, which is when CK starts playing. And then CK's counter. It seems like a bad pick. CK likes to jump in and just one-shot somebody. And he can only do that to Coddle. He can't even do that to Windrunner. This is the Windrun. Win Unless Oracle pulls off some crazy purges without getting, without showing himself, which is basically impossible. Morphling pick. Seems fine. I honestly wonder if uh, Chikiro Neil could have picked Morphling. But Morphling doesn't seem like that good of a hero. Without the Shaker, I don't know what he does. And there's no way of getting Shaker at this point. He also doesn't like playing against this, like, double, like, super nuker, because Morphling has to stay above, like, a certain HP, where if he could die at 500 HP, he has to be at 510 HP, and these guys can kill him at, like, 600 HP, so he, like, can't do any damage. If he, in a perfect world, he's sitting at 400 health. Seconds remaining. They banned Pugna, so they are also assuming it's a Perfect safe lane morph. Game. Pretty sure Jakiro Neil is last pick, if, if I'm remembering how the game works, right? Yeah, they do, it's right there. And so. I guess you gotta pick a safe laner that can also go mid. If you want this Morphling to have a game, because you want to put him in the good lane. But he hasn't really secured a good lane yet either. Because he doesn't want to lane against the Mars, so all you got to do is pick a, a mid laner. It's also good against Marf. Who would I pick here? I'd probably just pick Void Spirit or Ember. Ten yeah, Void Spirit seems good here. Kind of decent against everything. It's a way to kill a Oracle. And late game, it's good against CK too. Uh, you get the level 25 taunt. And you might have a Shiva's too. Razor. I I don't see enough of this hero to know if it's good here. If it's a CK mid, it's obviously really good here. I saw that once, but I doubt they'd run CK mid. It can lane into the Mars though. The Mars could like spear it away, but it's kind of hard because Razor just kind of sidesteps you because he doesn't have to actually right click you he just has to walk next to you but I'm pretty sure this more fast to go mid unless they like uber counter it over here surprised they didn't combo with their coddle more too I wonder if yeah, Coddle can't lane with the Axe either, because Oracle is just going to purge the Battle Hunger. See, I guess you could Battle Hunger, get a purge, and then Battle Hunger again. That seems bad. Choose your hero. So this, this first bit Coddle is kind of lost. If that's a mid Weaver, I don't know who their mid player is, but. If that's a safe, if that's a safe lane weaver.
does better against the axe. And then, but then you're sending CK against one of these two heroes, which is bad. So if they think it's a mid razor, and they pick Weaver for that, that's also bad. Or like it's good against Razor mid, but I'm pretty sure this Morphling is going mid. And Morphling sees a Weaver, and he's really happy. One, it makes a Wand even better because you kind of have to buy Wand on this hero, and two, it doesn't doesn't threaten him. He could stay at like 400 HP. Weaver's never going to do that much damage in one second, you know? So this is a, I, don't, I don't like this Weaver pick. Who has a better draft, though? I think this, this Mars and Rubik is really strong. These, I think these two picks were like pretty good. And then, so these heroes will do really well. They don't really have a Vessel Builder for the Morph. So the Morph could get out of hand, depending on how this Weaver does mid. Then the Oracle. Yeah, th I feel like this, this Caudal is kind of lost. Like, if you look look at the impact of how the Fives are going to match up. Like, sure, the Oracle was third pick and Caudal was first pick. But I think Oracle just does so much more, because they kind of pick this axe into it. I think I like Dyer's Draft more, honestly. But Morph can pop off and win this game, and he's also their win condition, so who cares? So the Wind Ranger is going for... Yeah, it's a Weaver mid, so Weaver pick was bad. They're going for first blood. I mean, if Morphling was bottom, this would be good. You maybe maybe kill this Cuddle. Yeah, because he wants to skill this level one anyways. Gets God's rebuke. You get the Fade Ball. He just channels this. You do like a 400 damage nuke. Hit them like once and you're dead. Thirty seconds to battle. Smoked? Yeah. That's Did he he didn't walk in her tower. No, he didn't, but it's like Ooh, they blocked it. That's actually really good. And they catch it too. That's that's a really good block. Because uh like it like I said, this or this Rubik and Mars are really strong. How much gold do you get for Yeah. I don't that smoke was pretty bad. It turns out being bad, but I don't I don't know if the play itself was bad. I think these guys just do a good job reading that. Or is it doesn't really want to help out. I guess that's the downside of first wave on Razor. Is you can't get the range creep because you're already attacking the Mars. It's her top lane. Because it already happened, yep. He uses that, he just purges it, right? Why are you going for a CS? Just use the mana? It's like 100 mana. How much damage does it do? What's 16 times 12? 16 times 12 is more HP than 100 mana is worth, okay? I don't. What rank is the Oracle? I know the, the ranks are like, I think they're all over the place in this one. It's like there's like Archons and Divines on the same team, I think. So maybe Oracle's like the low rank player. And he just, he doesn't know he could purge it. <laughs> Mid, Weaver's doing better. Nah, he's not really doing better than they expected. 
because it's Morph is still level two. Once Morph gets level three, this lane's really good for him. Yeah. I don't know. This this Oracle is not playing the lane right. Oh. They kill the Rubik. That's good. That's huge because this off lane is like how Jakiro, Jik how oh, Dire. I'll just call him Dire. I don't like that. <laughs> Their name is stupid. This is how Dire wins. Is getting this off lane really strong and Weaver as to like Weaver will do decent in this lane. But Morph will do well. They probably both do well. But you don't ever want Morph having a good game. Like an early game. It's really easy to avoid. Add some. Oh. And yeah, messing with the pole. Is he gonna battle hunger him? If he if he doesn't use it, oh my gosh, he actually doesn't know how his spell works. I don't know if there's a guide somewhere online, but the axe versus oracle matchup is really cookie cutter. Like axe has like two plays to lane, and oracle it counters both of them. You know. There's like, it's really easy to counter, you just gotta use your spells. Oh, so he knows he could do it. He just wasn't. I don't know. Maybe he just, maybe the CK just told him. Yeah, so Oracle's not playing the lane, right? Getting Axe a really good time. Axe is actually top CS. Yeah, this, it's too late. This Axe is going to own this game. And he's against the CK too, so Axe should do really well this lane. Or this game, honestly. So you got a bottle on Mars? No, I just got a one though. That's another kill amount. Yeah, this is where most of the action should happen. This is Mars Rubik. These two heroes have a lot of kill potential together. He's. I don't think you get to mess with this axe. He like. He doesn't care. He has 14 HP regen without the tango going. Wind Rangers should. I don't think they're getting kills here. Are they? Oh, they are. Yeah, this is good. No, yeah, they're not. Wind Rangers should have been getting the wave there. E either Wind Ranger or Axe should be getting the wave. Because these kills are not worth this whole creep wave that they just missed, both teams. Weaver ends up ganking too, so kind of doubly hurts. Yeah, even if they get the kill there, it's just not worth it. Someone needs to go to that creep. Smarfling's in a really good mood. Dyer's middle tower isn't going to last long. Dyer have fortified their structures. Did Rubik just block his own camp? Oh no, he's trying to unblock it. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it. It it can be hard to land, but sometimes Razor has has to walk in a straight line like that, so you can spear him off. Is he still going? Yeah, that's not worth. You lose like three creeps. Bottom 
Weaver's trying to mess with the Morphling, but it it's just a bad matchup for him. He can't do anything. He could see us, but he's not going to mess with the Morphling game. There he goes. It's late, but he's playing lane correctly now. Extra drag this wave. Nice. You kind of zone the CK away. No, he doesn't want to risk it. Switch over to Network and see how Mars is doing. He's a little below the Razor, which is not where he wants to be. He should be like this Axe CK matchup where he's about 300 gold ahead. That's where he wants to be. Rune bottom. Rune doesn't really matter that much in this game. It's the only rune that's good for Weaver. Is uh, Arcane and DD. Regen is nice, but it's not very good. Like X. Gets a Vanguard, doesn't even have to rush a blink this game. He's rushing blink, but I think he could have just gone Vanguard and then just hit this tower and then just walk up and hit the mid tower. He doesn't need blink because uh, the, the Weaver is the only hero who even kites him. That he'll be playing into the Mars kites him because Mars is like a throw a spell, kite around, and throw the next spell. But CK just has to fight him. CK is not a hero who can run away. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot, actually. That's what he needs to run up and get the Berserker's Call. He needs that movement speed. This is, same as before. This trade feels good because you're thinking like, oh, he's the, he's the carry and I'm the offlaner. So I could trade my farm for his. But in this game, Axe is going to carry way harder than the CK. So he should just prioritize his own farm. He could run at the CK under tower with his creeps. But this right here, you have creeps that you could farm, and you're letting CK farm them for free when you could own this CK. It's it's inefficient in like a bunch of different ways. Nice. What was the trade? Yeah, Dyer got all of them. Oh, he's trying to steal it. Is he calling the the winner in her? I don't think you can kill this. No, you can. You can. You can kill him. That's yeah, worth. You just pop recall. Yeah, this morph is not going to die. He probably ends this game with like one or two deaths, and they're all, they're both in team fights. Yeah, I think Axe is giving the CK too much. CK is actually ahead of Axe and farm now. Say Axe is just trying to farm as fast as possible, but he could actually pull this to here and then go grab this. And then now he's farming everything over here. Both waves are over here and everything he's farming is over there. And CK can't do anything. Whereas this is good too. This is actually good too. I was worried that he was going to run behind the tower again. But this is how he should farm. Just right in front of CK. He should uh, go under tower, grab this. This is why a Vanguard would be really good here because he could t tank the tower like a timber saw. But yeah, you should just grab this wave and then run at the CK with it. He 
If he goes to Barmsley, these camps are going to be sad. Yeah, this is bad. Is CK's getting a, a wave for free? Ooh, did he mess up an arena? Yikes. Or did I miss like a like a big fight? I pro I think I missed like a big fight. This is good. You should run over and kill the CK. <sighs> I think this should have happened at 10 minutes, and this tower should have died to catapult, but... Because Morphling is going to stay mid, pretty much just... Because that, that's kind of what Morphling does, he just stays in his lane. He can gank in this game, because he has a Coddle, and he can just run right back to mid. But at 10 minutes, Morphling can pressure mid, and you can, like, all go top. But I think they got the mid tower at 10 minutes, so... That's better than getting top. Mars has arena. He's look he should look to kill the Wind Ranger here if he's gonna use it. Yeah. Were they yeah, they were under vision the whole time, is a good word. What is the weaver going? Him losing his tower, by the way, is really bad. This is why like Weaver can't do anything, is because he's supposed to stay mid and defend his tower. Now the, these two supports are, they're mid because Stop just died and they're like not sure what to do. But I think they can just run at CK with Axe. I don't know what Razor's doing here. Like Razor needs to go top. This fight is like, they can't really kill anybody, not without this Axe. Like Wind Ranger can do Shackle Shot and then Morphling, yeah Morphling doesn't have Morph Skilled. You're just... They don't have like a Mars Rubik that's gonna walk around killing things. They have an axe who's gonna run at a hero, and then Wind Ranger's gonna sit behind him. And the the Coddle the Coddle just doesn't combo with anything, so he's really lost. All he could do is recall. And it actually it actually works out. He gets a uh, pop calling blade. Yeah, axe is here, but they get a Rubik kill. Mid tower stays at full HP. Top tower stays at full HP. CK gets the top wave out, and then CK farms like two, three camps. This right here is good. Moving into their triangle at 15 minutes, that was that was smart. Miss calling blade, but what can you do? Yeah, they catch the Weaver. That's huge. So like you opt to. You're not gonna get as much towers this way. Like running around blinking up people. But they don't really need towers because they have the morphling, and the enemy team has a CK and do an axe, and the axe is doing is axe zoning. I think this, this Mars, yeah, he's going this Yule's build because he's so far behind, and he can't find a wave to farm. He should be bottom right now because he's not helping in anything. Farming this camp isn't going to do anything, like, for your game. Let's say, oh, I probably communicated with CK that CK said, oh, yeah, I want that bottom wave. Yeah, CK was kind of in trouble top. You could see it, that the, the walls were closing in. They ping out top tower. If they can get this before 20 minutes, it'd be huge. And I don't know how Dire defends it. Even with his armlet, the CK actually dies like pretty easily to the axe call. The Morphling won't have his E blade for like two more minutes. But I don't know how. Radiant has control of like all of this. Everything on this side is Radiance right now. And then Dyer can only farm here. Are those cracks in Dyer's top tower? Dyer's top 
Oh, is smoke. I'm sure they. I think they saw that smoke. But uh, does he catch the weaver? Yeah, weaver's dead. I, th I think they snowball that in the mid. There's like a bait where you go for Roche here. But I don't think they're tanky enough to do Roche on the axe. Maybe he is. I think you could. I think there's an argument for your Roaching here. Because Windranger can kind of tank it with the Windran too. Dire air, so like Oracle should not be top right now. Mars needs uh, to recover somewhere. He's walking around in circles like he's ready to fight, but Radiant doesn't even have to fight him. And so they're they're just not doing it. They're just farming. Mars says, "Hey, I want my E blade," so he backs off to the Ancients, and he's getting his E blade. They're just getting a little far away from this outpost. I think Dire can make a smoke play here and actually go take it back. The Weaver is trying to play like as far away from top as possible because that's where Radiant should be. And he, he looks like he successfully drags them away. And the, there is an opportunity to take the Shumble back now. The Weaver popped off. Oh, is he gonna get caught here? Okay, it's all for. Oh, he, he lives, he lives, he's fine. Yeah, Weaver's making a lot of space right now. This Rubik knows that he wants that, but <laughs> Morph is like the only one in here. Yeah, this Morphling just can't die. <laughs> he's he's never dying this game. The Mars is too far behind. Uh, I all tabbed in the middle of that fight, so I don't know what exactly what happened. But Dyer lost a mid, so I guess Radiant won. Probably not as hard as they could have, but they won nonetheless. And they kept their outpost, that's what really matters. He's mo oh. The Razor TP's top, but they still have like the recall. Can I check the win percentage? Because it feels like this game is over for Dyer. I don't know how to check win percentage. But I... I accept this offer. Out the Oracle. That's like he's like uh, the important catch because he's the save hero. But there is no follow up ready. But here, here's the follow up. Even though they're out of position, it doesn't matter because you can't kill Axe. You can't kill Morphling. You can kill Razor, I think. But even that's hard because he has a Yules. They don't have the damage to kill anybody. And with more Sea Blade, every single one of these guys can die. Even though like Oracle's next to him, they die instantly to E Blade. They know Phantasm's cool down. I feel like they could just push. Somebody's pink. Oh yeah, Axe can just loop around here and just go for fights. As long as he doesn't literally go into the fountain, he's good. You are dead. Dead. The CK is like starting to get the read that they are so far behind. They're not killing anybody. And he has to go like farm with their waves. Mars does do that too. Like this tower? When this mid tower died, it was kind of like a, a big tell 
that CK is screwed and Mars is never gonna farm again. Weaver's making the right play. Weaver's been playing really well this game, like all things considered. I think it was just a really bad Weaver pick. Yep. Razor shows up, he has to leave. Wonder if he can nah he can't even try and commit because he doesn't see the axe. Oh, Dyer's make it a smoke. Are they gonna all in this tier two? Do they think that Radiance and Roche? Or if if they stand on this hill, that seems like it could be good. But walking down here, this seems like a throw. Razor is their best target to start on because he's probably the only way they can kill. But are they all inning a mid tower? Did they see him on a ward? Yeah, Radiant makes a smoke of their own, and they're they're actually catching people. Because Dyer showed themselves, and got out of position, played off their hill. They didn't ward the bottom jungle when they walked through it too, so Dyer still has no map control. Because the CK is, if Axe is off map, CK has no idea if he's about to die. Like he's not even. Like, uh, farming this camp. He's just waiting for the wave to spawn and trying to be as safe as possible. Because he has no idea where the enemy team is. He's about to find out. Are they gonna TP? Yeah, this CK, he can only, he can't even farm one creep before he has to back. Even with Weaver making space, he just has no vision. Because they didn't ward as they walk through. One thing that this did do that I didn't realize till now is Mars finally found like a few creep camps to farm, a few waves to move through. And if he can get his blink, maybe someone on Radiant will actually die. You know, Weaver doing the right thing again, just cutting waves. He has no idea where No he sees Axe. He could he could farm. He doesn't care if he runs into Razor either. So yeah, he can just take that, farm the triangle. He should grab top wave. Oh, he doesn't see the axe again. He actually can't. This is risky. He can get himself killed here. No, he does see axe. He's a ward here. Yeah, he's good. That Wind Ranger set is so ooh woo. Yeah, axe TPs, but Weaver should be out of here fast enough. Oh, is he hitting that? No way! Um, he kind of screwed up. But yeah, he's, he's fine. It's Assange was the difference maker there. More thing getting gone on, but this guy just can't die. <laughs> he is all strength right now, though. X3 initiates with. Uh, Razor is a BKB though. Yeah, you could just chase him down forever. I think CK is still alive. Yep. Just barely, but he dies right after. Yeah. You're not killing this morph, dude. Did anybody even buy a vessel? I know Mars didn't. Yeah, nobody was buy Nobody bought. Nobody's buying a vessel. This this morph is actually gonna have a zero death game. You get the Aegis, you sit behind morph really like, hits bo uh, top I guess because bottom's a little hard for them right now. And you can't do anything as a uh, dire. Even if you catch the razor, he's got a he's got a BKB now, so it doesn't matter. If he you have to catch him with like slow fingers. Which, which could happen. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't... The Weaver's like pushing up bottom. The Mars is stuck in here with nothing to farm. TK's literally standing AFK in the base. Because he doesn't know where Axe is. Radiance bottom tower's got problems. Ugh. Is Rubik got a lot of potential in the game? Is low its net worth in the entire match? Really scared her bottom. Again, Weaver Weaver is doing the only thing he can do, so he's he's doing really well. Yeah, someone already farmed that. There's a DD top. If Weaver finds this instead of uh, Radiant, that could be the difference between them getting to push high ground or not. Radiant seems content just like farming, but that that's, strikes me as not good enough with this Aegis. I feel like you have a big enough lead that with this Aegis, more like you could be in this triangle cutting off their like most reliable source of farm. Oh, that's what they were doing. That makes sense. Morphling plays away, and then they were... So they were pushing top. I was wondering why Morphling was bottom, but they have a Coddle, so they're good. He pulls them back. Yeah, Windranger shouldn't be on this hill. <laughs> there, there's just no reason. Because Mars can actually blink in and kill her. Yeah, Morphling just walks up and hits us, and there's nothing that they can do about it. He has 43 armor too. Yeah, you can just tank it. He probably could have killed that guy. <laughs> if he if he saw like where he was getting gone on from, he could have just yeah. Like what is it what is this orphan gonna do to you? Waveform way. I messed up a bit. Depending on how he more saggy, this could turn out really bad for Radiant. This might be the fight that Dyer needs. Everyone kind of is, is overextending. The Caldwell's stuck in the back and he can't help anybody. Is he going to heal the morph? He sh yeah, it looks like Radiant managed to reposition themselves. He's looking at the Oracle. Oracle's dead. Both cores bought back. You could actually walk away now and call this a win, but I have a feeling Axe wants to go back in. Yep, he catches two. I don't think Axe is going to die here. No, he's dead. He's Oh, Morphling got caught, but he's he's got a lot of health. He could He wants to keep going. He should use his ult in this fight. Turning into all four of those guys. If he turned into one of them, it would have been really huge. Yeah, you could turn into any of the any of these three and probably one v three this. Artizu would have won that fight, but they did win that fight because uh, Weaver bought back, died back, and CK bought back too. They didn't get Meteor Axe, but that Meteor Axe is all but dead. <laughs> now that if CK gets caught, game over, because all Rady has to do is come like AFK in this triangle, and catch uh, CK eventually or else to get one of these towers what does Razor what does Razor Axe do? Oh, that's good because yeah, I was thinking this guy needs like Radiance or Shivas or something to deal with because he's like the I'm gonna stand in front and hit the CK guy. Who are they giving the Cloak of Flames? Did Axe take it? That seems good. I think you could give it to Razor or Axe here. Has Dyer gotten their new items? I don't think they've gotten any of them. 
Oh wait, no, that's a uh, tier three. And he's got the what is this item called? Titan Sliver. Big finally finish Zether Lens. Radiance making a smoke, and they're gonna walk straight into the Oracle, get a free kill. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he'll delay this a bit, but he's dead. This is good though. Gave Mars some space to farm away from. <laughs> They're just pinging out like defenses to top racks. And Radiant is grouping to fight it. Oracle will be up like when this wave is getting here. This Morphling might be a little too much on Agi. I don't know, 1300 health, 1300 health is enough. But yeah, Dire Ops just not defend it. Just let it go. Get that one more, two more ways to fan arm. Oh, he finally got a vessel, but I don't know how he gets charges on this if you can't kill anybody. You gotta get this while their enemy team can still die. Weaver died, they lose mid racks like this this game has been over for a while. <laughs> well with Discord. Yeah, they, they finally call it, but like, that game has been over for a while. You just, you can't pick this Weaver. It's, he played really well on it, but there's nothing you could do. What's up, Moscow? Are you actually casting? Yeah, dude. I don't, I don't think, think I'm supposed, supposed to be. be. How, how are you casting this game? Uh, one of my friends said, hey, can you cast? I said, sure. And they said, oh, I guess the other guy doesn't want you to cast. But then they started the game, so I cast it. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing a game two, I'll ask them. Dude, if they're doing game two, let me cast with you. We can do a duo cast. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be the best. Do you have a Twitch? Be the best duo cast duo. I don't think I'm allowed to stream on my Twitch because I don't like attach phone and stuff. Wait, you can't? I don't think so. Can we stream on my Twitch? I can get all the views then. Yeah, dude. You'll be a you'll be a legend. Let me let me see if I still have OBS installed. Oh, I do. Oh yeah, I don't. Right? I don't think there's a game too. Fuck. I'm planning out there. I asked him if I could secretly join the lobby again, or if the other captain is a Scrooge. He says, just join, I guess. And go get... Alright, Moscow, we're, we're officially professionals. Alright, here's the plan, okay? Just get in the just get in the lobby so that I can watch the game. Like, they don't have to know that I'm in there, and then I will watch the game because I can watch it from your friends list. Oh, wait, no, I'll have the two-minute delay, then that won't work. No, no, watch it, watch it on the, my Discord. Oh, genius. Then you're going to be controlling the camera, though. I'm not sure about this one. Oh. 
book. He says, join cast slot. Who cares? If he says no, you'll have to leave. But. And then he ended up but. It's classic. Classic. Oh, you could, wait, you can see, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you like our, do you like our channel? Pardon? Do you like our channel name? What's our channel name? Officially professional. Officially professional, huh? Yeah, dude, we're official. Dude, look how high my Lamar is right now. I'm going to win games. Six, I'm at 64.50. I, I might finally break 6.5 and be my, be my best self. This is like the, this is like the degenerate way to stream. I'm not even streaming like the game. I'm streaming a Discord stream. Of the game. <laughs> and we're that we're technically not allowed to cast. <laughs> we're menaces to society. Oh, dude, I forgot. I because I'm making a recording that I was gonna send to them after, you know. Yeah. And I I was just barely scratching my balls, dude. I I, I almost put it on cam. That would. That would be bad. What if I what if I scratch it? But then I Yeah. Never mind. Never mind. I don't I don't I wanna just move on from that. I just I still don't know how, how Twitch works. Like get, I'm not sure if I'll be able to stream this game all. I'm doing my best here, but I don't know. Oh, are you trying to figure it out? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. It says I'm streaming. Just go to your Twitch I'm page. Trying, I'm trying to go to my Twitch page, but I can't figure out how to get to my Twitch. Oh, never mind. I found it. You got to like twitch.tv slash, I think it's Green Shy Guys, your name? Okay, I found it. Yeah. Are we live? It's a black screen right now, but it's because I have it set to be the black screen. Hang on. <laughs> nice. Uh, I, need, uh, I need to have it set to, to look at the Discord, you know? Like, it's not looking at the Discord right now. I'm trying to look at my game. I see. This is pretty scuffed. I don't know what the ranks of these guys are, but I think you're higher rank than all of them. Oh, Maybe the Weaver that expect? played last game is better than you, but I don't know. Cause he was doing... That I'll be able to yeah. provide actually insightful commentary. Yeah? Okay, he... I think I got it. The Weaver was doing well. Like... He was... As far as who, he probably played the best of the entire game, but it was just an impossible Weaver game, so he loses. Okay, it looks like that is working here. So, I need to... All I need to do is change the stream title. Because right now it just says Pause 3 oh, Ogre Stream. Pause 3 Ogre Shit now, so I need to get I need to get around to changing that because I'm not playing that anymore. Why are you there? Their name is Jakiro Neal. And then it's a picture of Shaquille. Oh my god. It's Shaquille O'Neal, but with Shakiro on his head. Radio teams turn to ban. And then the Radiant guys are just uh not very creative with theirs. They banned Windrunner. Apparently Toth only plays Windrunner. And their mid Their mid laner is supposed to be a really good puck player, and they banned it. It's a OD band because we're in North America. Do you just what's the title? Is it Fortnite stream? Right now it's must be Ogre stream. Is my title now? Uh, change it to Fortnite duos. <laughs> and then go to the Fortnite section. <laughs> go to the artifact section. Go to the artifact section. Oh, do we? Is the artifact two in beta yet? Uh yeah, I have a I'm in the beta. I haven't played it yet, but I have a key. Dire teams okay, I'm looking up a YouTube video on how to change my Twitch stream title. Dude, we have another co-caster. Welcome to the welcome dude. to the, the floor, Duders. Is it Duders? Duders, I my I my car is a flat tire, so I couldn't go to work. Yeah. It was just in the driveway, completely flat. But last team. Or last game, Kurchu first picked Coddle, and then they didn't combo anything with it. So I guess this game, they first picked Spearbreaker. Because Coddle was probably triggered. He's probably, why did we first pick my hero and then pick all his trash? 
Ooh. Oh, they're, they're so proud of their Morphling that they picked it again, but I don't know if that'll work. I'm pretty sure this hero's bad. Feet picks Discord admin. Who knows? Maybe Jakiro team is just going to pick a, a Weaver mid doing? against it again. Yeah, I figured it out. A bunch of fools. Okay, we have one viewer, and it's me, so we're, we're in the clear right now. All right, dudes. we're yeah. streaming this to Twitch. Are we're your green shy game. guys we're famous here. among the, the Lucas Lucas community? I am? <laughs> Dude, I haven't noticed that that's the case. Like, all I do uh, is show up on Facebook and put a funny message in the sub. I think the phone. I think the only famous people in that community is QB and uh, Grace Hopper. I think everybody else huh? is just chatters. Yeah, I'm just a chatter. Like, I don't deserve to be famous. True. True. I like this casting interface. Actually, I know I missed the old one where it was like uh, the portraits of the heroes, you know? Like, this is... Like the, like the I3 era drafting screen. This is cooler, though, because, like, the, the shaker can, like, clap his totem, you know? I don't like that, though. I like the portraits, man. I wish there was an option. The portraits are on the left. No, no, not even, like, the small portraits, like, the big one. Like, you know the one that moves around when you're playing? It's, like, next to your level icon? Like, we had those. I honestly forgot what it looked like. Oh but God. this background's cooler. I don't think it had this, right? It did. It was just like a, it was a normal background. It wasn't like a Radiant or Dire or nothing. It was just the background with the pictures in front of it. It was like it was simple though, you know. Like now I have to look at the models. Like I have to look at Morphling's fucking you know little poly model. It's ugly. Look at it. I like the portrait of Morphling so much better. I'm pretty sure the portrait of Morphling has more of like polygons than the actual Morphling model, dude. So, that's some, that's some Reddit level complaining right there. I mean, it is. I am a Redditor. Cringe. Wait, I should post this on Reddit. We can get more views this way. Do they ban the Razor this game? They felt like it was a real problem, but I think that I they were... I watched the last game. I, I watched, like, part of it, because I, was, I saw that you were casting. I was trying to figure out how to hear your voice, but I couldn't remaining. figure it out. Oh, that's because I wasn't talking in-game, because... Five seconds remaining. Because <laughs> I didn't want to get in trouble. Because <laughs> technically we're not supposed to be casting. <laughs> So what is this? Is this like a league? Oh, it's RD2L Master Season 1. Yeah, it's uh, this is RD2L, but it's uh, you could pick your team and schedule your games, whereas the normal RD2L, you just join a draft and a captain picks you. Okay. Well, oh, they, when I subbed, did I sub for this or the normal one? Wait, dude, imagine picking Cod your second pick, right? You pick Coddle, and then you pick Nyx instead of Bristleback. When Nyx got nerfed really hard, and Bristleback is still really good with Coddle. I feel like that was an oversight. I think that we're going to see the PL pick. Is PL good right now? I don't think so. Why would you pick PL? I don't know, because I think PL is good against their heroes, and you have PL... Well, for Coddle which team? Coddle, Coddle, oh, this team. Because I thought you were talking about this pick. I was like, why would you pick another hyper carry right here? <laughs> See, look, this is why I have to, you know, with casting, you have to fully say your sentences. That's not going to work out for me. I don't think I'm going to be a good caster if I have to say what I mean. Just don't say the N-word. Oh, no. <laughs> so you're going to have a lot of trouble, Moscow, because you always say the N-word. Dude, my one viewer is going to get driven away right now. Wait, hang on, do I still have one viewer? Let me take a look. Ten seconds remaining. It might be my brother or something, if, there, if I have two viewers. Five seconds remaining. Dude, you should bot us. You should no, bot us. Dude, the... Fucking stupid Moscow stream. Bought it. Okay, I'm on. What the fuck? What, 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 what was that sound? Oh, that's... That's the music I'm making right now. <laughs> what is... It's... What does it sound like that? Dude, do I put the camera of me in game? It's really yeah, loud. This isn't really ca this isn't really a stream. I don't have a camera myself. Let's put it over the mini maps so that way the audience doesn't know what's going on. Dude, imagine picking Quap the I shoot. I think this is four. I'm pretty imagine, sure you don't pick this hero. Imagine but, sucking my penis like you did last night, Colonel. Or... That didn't happen. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip it. <laughs> what? Alright, you can see it. my face, my lovely face, you can turn it into my stream right now. I don't want to see your face, I'm not gonna tune in your stupid stream. Dude, hold on, can I... What if I get your face, and then I put it under mine? 
I don't know what'll happen then. What's your Twitch? Is it Green Shy Guy? It's Green Shy Guy twelve twenty underscore. Are you guys both um, streaming? No, no. Okay, so Ronald's streaming on Discord, and I'm streaming the Discord to Twitch. Oh my. So, because we're we're really degenerating it up right now, you know. Oh, let me see if I remember how to do this. I can just link it to you. Hang on. I don't have school tomorrow, so this is fine, actually. Dude, hold on. Can I... What if I get your face, and then I put it under mine? Dude, why is your hair so <laughs> wet? I just took a fucking shower, oh. dipshit. Go try it, Why are you? Why are you cussing duders out? Leave them alone. Yeah, stop. How do you have nine plus Discord notifications? Dude, because uh, I, don't, I don't ever, like, look at any of my Discords. Also, what browser is this? This is Opera. It looks absolutely disgusting. I like it, uh... So fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Dire team's turn to pick. Points away. Pangolia. How do I do this again? Dude, do you remember? I'm trying to cut out your head. In the spirit. Wait, are you streaming this on Twitch too? No, I'm streaming it. I'm, I'm recording it on Stream Elements. What are you trying to do with it? Oh, that's fine. Okay, I don't know how. What we'll place is my lovely face? Wait, how do I do it over here? Yo, uh, so what video games have you guys been playing? I've been playing a shit ton of StarCraft and a shit ton of anime visual novels. That I one. saw that. It's crazy. Um, dude, I'm making a game, dude. I'm so I'm so hyped. What game are you making? You know, I'm making like uh, d pretty much Slay the Spire, but it, I'm making it so it's cooler. <laughs> With not as good visuals. Yeah. What are the visuals for it? I haven't gotten to that part yet, but they'll probably be really ugly, like hand drawn, <laughs> like hand drawn and paint. Ban. That's terrible. What are you doing it for? Like a project? A video? Uh, yeah, for a final project. Uh, sounds hard. Yeah, but it's cool, so I wanted to do it. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant teams turn to ban. I'm back. For a second. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Take me to Fortnite. No. Take me to the Xbox. No. To play Fortnite today. We're gonna take you to StarCraft. Girl, have you seen that? No. Somebody clip it. Somebody clip that. <laughs> Somebody clip it. Somebody clip that, please. Mods? I have no mods. I'm the mod. Mods. I suppose I should keep my Twitch stream up just in case Duders goes and starts posting racist shit in my chat or something. Duders is Dude, remember, <laughs> remember memeing in attacker chat? Thanks, Jack. Yeah, I remember the good old days, Duders. I hope you realize I was literally like 14, 13, 14. Radiant teams turn to pick. Night Stalker. Sorry, dudes, I got up and dish while you're talking there. I had to go get my pizza. You didn't hear? No. I said, I hope you realize I was literally like 13, 14. Yes, I realized that. I did the math a little bit ago. I was like, wait, how old was Duders? Wow. 
I'm pretty sure all the mods were like grown men. Yes, they were. Side still streams. I watched Side streams. How old is he? He looks he's like, like he's like thirty, I think. He looks like a fifty-year-old man. I'm not sure. I'm just guessing, to be honest. Oh! Uh, almost did it. Dude, you almost did what? Anime hero. Dude, does this mean that Dragonite is an anime hero now? Yeah. He, he starts picking Dragonite every game. Whoa. I did it. What'd you do? Wait, what? What? Okay, there we go. Did I put your head underneath my head? No, there's two heads. Should I put that picture of Duders underneath that? <laughs> two heads are better than one? Is it the picture of my head or is it like the video? It's the video. Wow. Don't worry, I'll, I'll put Duders on here too. So you're streaming this on Discord. And then I'm streaming the Discord stream of you streaming to Twitch. And then on that Twitch stream is a photo of me that you're uploading to another stream. <laughs> that's also just you streaming the game originally. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, Duders is here too. I'll just, <laughs> I'll, I'll just screenshot our stream. Duders, do you like it? I I took the look. No, wait. Hang on. I want to get back to the thing. I hate this cord. Yeah, whatever. Yo, what the... That's not what I look like. What do you mean? It's a live picture. It's a live uh, camera You're right there. That's literally a train. Are you stupid? That's you on the train. I'll be the, the color. You'll be, you'll be the play to... You'll be the play-by-play -play and I'll be the... No, you're like the strategy. You're like the high MMR person. I'll, I'll be the analyst, and you'll be the 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 yeah. shout the call, play. shout caller. Yeah, shoutcaster. That's what it's called. I gotta be shout caller. I thought no, dude, Moscow. You're also higher MMR these guys. So you're a fellow analyst. <laughs> okay. So the has an ember. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, so Ember Spirit in this Morphling matchup is actually Morphling favored because the Ember Spirit will never touch and kill the Morphling, and the, but the Ember Spirit is a natural vessel builder, touch and, he, you. and so he, the Ember will probably rush a vessel. Let's see with the Night Stalker. If the Night Stalker and Nyx goes, that could really jumble up Dyer's plans. <laughs> All right, that's, that's the Ember game right here. He's just, um, if you're the Ember in this game, what, what, what do you have to look out for? What? What are your goals? Uh, as soon as this guy has a blink or a shadow blade on DK, your game is over. But Ember is good against uh, it's good against Spirit Breaker because he can't be ganked, and all Spirit Breaker does is gank. Because if you slide a fist him out of the the charge, he just can't gank you. It's this is a setup, but it's on jugs, so and that's gonna happen. So who do you, who do you guys got? Um, little skirmish in the top lane, Quap going on the coddle. Oh. Well, Flashing hits it. Doesn't have an orb though. And back away. <gasps> God, just blinding light. Wow. Yes. Leaves a shit item. We all know it. Um. Morphling blocking his creeps. Ember failing to do so. Looks like Morphling's gonna have an advantage in this lane. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh. Creep goes under tower. How What's more? Is this actually? If you block so well that your wave goes under the opponent's tower. Depends on the depends. For Morphling, he doesn't really care because uh, level one, like Morph Morphling in this matchup, level one is pretty even. And but uh, 
if it was like Morphling versus Quap, Quap would waste the Morphling on wave one. So Morphling getting under tower now makes the next wave go over Ember's tower, and it's called like a slingshot, where it goes back and forth between the towers. And this is really good when you're in a bad matchup, and you're the one who has the bad matchup. If you're in a good matchup, don't let the lane slingshot like that. It's really bad. But these guys are in an even matchup, so it doesn't really matter. At least at level one. Cobb and Coddle doing some damage to each other. Ooh, Coddle. Coddle's just taking it. Quab's dishing it. I like how the guy with the, with the team DK name is playing DK. <laughs> that's, my, that's my analysis right now. Bottom lane, uh, off lane is taking some slight harass. Um, oh. Wow. Oops. <laughs> Looks like someone's a bit mad. <laughs> was it <Tuck> Ronaldo? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> uh, I don't think they can see my pings. No, they can't. Because if, if, he, if he could, that'd be pretty toxic. Yeah. Oh! He should be pulling though, right? I think so. Because uh, the DK owns, but like... Yeah, he's got three range groups. I don't know. I haven't seen it. This is the first time I've seen it. Probably ever. Like, I don't know when I've last seen a DK safe lane in my game. Maybe I saw like a what? tournament at some point. That's probably like the most boring, like... That that makes it perfect for carry players though, right? Carry players like having a boring game. No, but at least there's like... Carry heroes with like fun mechanics. But no, that DK Destroy. literally just hit creeps the entire game. Pushes power. Is Whoa, what happened? Okay, weird. This Coddle, I don't know where he got all his HP back from, but... Coddle used his regen, man. Maybe he had a salve. No, he still has one. Maybe he's a good support player, he bought like three salves for carry. Oh. <laughs> his quaff's a little confused. But you know what would be really cool? If he blinked behind him right then. I feel like that's the way you seal this blink here, right? Yeah. I don't really see the point in killing blink if you're not going to use it. Doesn't Quap just like destroy the Coddle? Yeah, pretty much. Once he's level 3, Coddle's so sad. Oh, he got blinked to like stop the Paul. Is that really worth it? Man, yeah. It's not like you're gonna ever use uh, your E. Yeah, what if you're gonna use the Scream of Pain? The Jug? What is the Jug doing? He's it's trying cold. to pull, but like. Yeah, you can't do that right here because <laughs> the Panga just walks up and hits you. He's gonna get 3 range creeps, so. He needs to get that. Jug is a clean level. How did at such low health? What happened? He just, he just he me he messed up the Cuddle Blast. Just what I've been waiting for. Pulls off a stack. Spearbreaker's ganking mid, but yeah. Uh, he learned that I don't. A lot of spirit breakers don't know this, but all the embers know it. You can't do it to you can't do anything. Embers just unkillable. It's Who's really bad. I I think Ember's their high mark player because he was the Weaver last game and the Weaver played really well. And but, who's the high mark player on this team? I guess Caden, but I think their high mark player is like Divine. Yeah. Um, Oh, what's, no, nothing's happening. So they just... Spirit breaker. The Shug is gonna ult. Right. What do you do? Uh, pull. Because this DK, like, can rape bottom. And Spirit Breaker only really needs to be level 2, you know? Or well, you can just run to this Coddle. Because uh, the Quap and the Pango can just barely not kill this Coddle between the two of them, but they just kill him on repeat. It's Spirit Breaker charges top, and then charges bottom, charges top, charges bottom. He can kind of just repeat that for like next two minutes if he wanted to. But he pulls, it's the other good option. He's got a mango. Yeah. 
That's bad. Ew. Classic Tidehunter syndrome. Yeah. Just, you think that you think you're invincible? And you're like they can't kill me, and you go and you do something stupid and die. Yeah, you pop a soul ring. He took he took more damage from the soul ring than he did from the enemy team, you know. I don't think you could really spam that soul ring until you're level 5. That's why he's a little bit better as a mid. Oh, like, wait, did he just stick around and die? Or did he get bashed? He probably got bashed into oblivion. I don't think I could rewind. Uh, it's a live game. I don't think it's, you can rewind if it's live game. Oh, maybe you can. You could obviously. It's just a casting game. But the, yeah, it's creeps. probably better than casting it. Anyway, so you missed uh you missed the uh the kill mid or the kill bottom. So that means that we have to spend T tours in the chat. Hang on. Where is it? Yeah. it? Says I'm connecting to chat for some reason. Maybe you're not connected to chat. Well, uh, can somebody uh somebody take care of this idiot spamming in chat, please? <laughs> Mod spam this guy. Oh, he's. Oh. That was oh. sick, actually. Did you see him save his, his, uh, his clothes? Oh, he got a yeah, mid unit action. Oh, he had it spike, careless. What? Oh, yeah, Hakes. That. Oh. That sucker doesn't care. He can still kill this quab. Oh. Not anymore. Oh, he, did he get baited? Yeah, he's dying to the, the dagger. Shadow Strike. What the hell is going on? <laughs> this, is, this is some cloudy spell casting, okay? Oh, he got a mid impel again. <laughs> that Nyx is so sad. <laughs> yeah, and I was gonna say, I don't think. He, as soon as I saw it just popped, I was like, I don't think you should wait for him there. Did Jug. Wait, did Jug get forced out of top, or did he just leave? I feel like this happens a lot with like shit players. Like the carry just like leaves lane and like goes. From there. Like, hey, hey. well, he's he's playing an already twelve masters, and what are you doing? Okay, so. Sure. <laughs> I'm just casting our RDL two masters. I mean, this is a whole wave of creeps, man. Carl can defend it, but should he? Couldn't Carl have just as easily walked over here and stacked this camp, and then Jug been over here? Nah. Once there's a lull in the game, do I get blueberries or strawberries? Nice. Well, the strawberries are better, but blueberries are like uh, rarely ever eaten, so. Is he gonna ult? I feel like this guy just gets uh, Omni Slash. Oh, do you get bashed? If that. Yeah. I mean, they get the jug, it's worth it. Is that intentional? Looked intentional. Did he have spin 50 there? Or did he just do that? No, I think he didn't have the mana. But the... One thing you could do on Jug that he could have used to kill that pango there and probably live is you could actually... Oh, <laughs> if you spam right click, like the pango's over here, if he's just spamming right clicks up top where the pango was going, then his hero would actually Omni Slash the pango. Like you could kind of control Omni Slash. It's not perfect though, it's just like increases your chances. When they're that far away, I think it is perfect. Yeah. Or no, no, if, if Pango was completely behind him, it'd be perfect, because it's based on where you're facing. So if Pango was on the right, and this guy was on the left, then it would be perfect. Look at this CS action. He's probably switched to net worth. I'm guessing Jug is up. Uh, Jug and Ember at the top. Yeah, he, <laughs> it turns over and hits him and it realizes, what, what am I doing? Oh, he's not going Vessel. Or, they did this last game too, where it's like 30 minutes in and nobody has a Vessel. Okay, this nice sucker's going Vessel. Top tower is under attack. 
Bro, what the fuck? They still have it in my Ember, game. Ember is the like, run around kill people type of hero every game, so I feel like he should buy the vessel. Maelstrom's not gonna do any damage. Comparatively. All I'm saying is I would have got two kills there, okay? Uh, <laughs> and they lost mid tower, so Ember like going there is really bad. It's got overcharge. Or bulldoze. That is that is Espen the chess master. I, I'm glad you noticed. Eftoon getting the bash. Oh my god. If this was one of my pub games, I'd tip, I'd tip Eftoon right now. Did he bash the courier earlier and <laughs> one shot at it? <laughs> On, Jug is Jug is in the right place. I think Jug needs to be here. You should probably. If I were him, I'd probably pub healing ward and just hit this tower. And then you spin TP out once somebody comes and that's how you kill the wave. Because I don't know. Gravebreaker's back up though, because if you get charged, you well, I suppose you can do Yeah, that's why he should have been hitting this earlier. Is Duder still here or did he leave? No, he's here. He's not talking about I see his cam. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. This dog gets a free tower. I feel like that someone should TP then this dog would be dead. Maybe. I think Pango doesn't have to be top, but Quap isn't really touching that jug, especially for the result. Morphling's gotta sit top. E-Blade coming out on the Pango. Dyer's Not sure if that's the- is, is that the best fallen. item this game? I feel like that the that's only hero- E-Blade? <laughs> Ember and Coddle. Oh, on the Morphling you mean? Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, because you thank you. Doug has spin, and Nyx just hits his E button here. I, I guess what I'm trying to think what I because Morphling doesn't really have any good choices for where he can go. It's kind of like you though E Blade is not the best. There's just not very many good items to that hero. Uh, I don't know. You go like E Blade or Manta, and if you have to go anything else. Yeah. Well, actually, is it worth getting Manta just for chains? Uh, not rushing Manta for chains, but you need Manta for the the vessel. But this game, he can't get away with just Manta because Night Stalker is, has crippling fear, so he has to go BKB. Do you go Manta BKB or just BKB? Uh, you probably go BKB Manta in that order. Dyer's bottom tower needs some help. If you go this E Blade first. But I think he could have went Manta Manta E Blade BKB. I like the the combo at the top. PK running in. That Night Stalker ult. Yeah, no, it's not Night Stalker ult, it's just night time. Yeah, but he, he's gonna have a harder time chasing without the ult. Morphin's out. Shaker dies back. Or Spear Breaker. We spotted a cuck, just watching everybody die. He used roll, his job is done. True. Yeah, it's not like he has a six second cooldown spell that just. I think I dies if he tries anything, but 
Yeah, he, he wanted to try something. <laughs> you might be able to tip someone, that's probably not something. Oh, nice, yeah, I don't think you can just... I think you should just wave one away because this vessel is doing so much damage to him. Morphing strength actually hurts. Is he going be first that and beaky me? Oh, this is another thing you should look at whenever you're like picking your cores. If you're like usually if it's a mid, it's more important because you're last picking. But don't don't pick a core who's countered by the same item, because they just go like Shiva's Shiva's Vessel Scotty and you're useless on both of their cores. The DK can't pick after Morph, no way. Yeah, and this Morph, like, has no good item to buy. It's not like he builds his E Blade and suddenly he's a good hero. He builds his E Blade and he's still useless. No, I don't think you finish boots at Quab before. You don't even buy boots, really? No, you get brown boots. Oh, okay. But I don't think you finish boots. Yeah, it's a good ult, but it's just... You have no damage, you just have a... This is another big reason why you can't sack a big Morphling. You can't pick Morphling unless you can guarantee it a good lane. And like, and a good game. Cause it, it's like, it's like picking Arc Warden into Spectre, you know? That's really bad. Which is basically what they did last game, but then the other, the other team screwed up and picked Weaver. In this game, they just, they just sack and pick the Morph, and they have like 10 different ways they're allowed to counter this guy. Oh, uh, I think I cut out. I think my cam's not working. Oh, we see your lovely face now. It's still there, it's just frozen. The audience can just look at my lovely face. I'm gonna I just follow here hero for a second. Let's follow Ember. He's doing well. He's living it out. He's going BKB. Wait, he's going BKB. Yeah. I feel like that's not the best. Oh no, he's go or is he going? Okay, no, he's going to BKB. I mistook the I mistook the arcane rune for uh for their point boost for a second, but it's just an arcane rune, so I feel like a dumb one. I'm really having a good time looking at the small creep camp on the very Oh, oops, I thought I was following the hero. Well, I give up. I keep, my camp's not working. I got a, I have a piece of crap cam that I use their school, so. <laughs> well, you can tell your professors wrong. What are they going to do when they don't see it on their face? Well, I'll fix it then. Is there anything Radiant can do to win this game? Uh, not if DK goes BKB. He's not going to BKB. They, he needs to get like a blink on this ember, then he can't ember alone, which is doable because it's not like the highest skill lobby, so maybe they don't just run the objectives together. Because realistically, Dyer just plays his five and the game ends eventually. Like 10 minutes from now. Oh, we have to wait another 10 minutes for this? God damn it, casting sucks. Yeah. 10k net worth lead at 20 minutes, game's not over yet, such. There's no. Radiant hasn't broken their items yet. If this was an Ogre Magi game, uh, and I was on Radiant, I'd just be minus some shit right now, you know. 
and then like the net worth would just <laughs> come in, got my axe in the hex, and I can start clapping up the board. Yeah, see this? See how two heroes ended up alone? But then they didn't have all their heroes either? <laughs> That's why Radiant still has a chance. Work out for Radiant this time though. It's like they're just gonna lose their heroes. It's a sign of things to come. It's just, it's, it's you know, it's so annoying. Ah, uh, yeah. This guy, he had a really good Morphling, Morphling last game, because he was facing against a Weaver. And then he's like, do you just tag and pick it, bruh? I'm, I'm too good. But, can't do that, dude. I still think Ember could have gone like Vessel Ag Shiva Scotty. It's like the build. You get it. You, you, wanted the, you wanted the Ember to play like he's a fucking rank 1k immortal and not like he's like the body. Thank you, Ronald. You understand. Well, I mean, I think he wanted to do that because everybody wants to do that. That's the build. That's the dream build. But this, I mean, Ice Talker's like, nah, bro, let me get Vessel. I mean, when I was a, when I was a low tier MMR player, the build was still 3 battle 3 days. That was your build. Still got shards sometimes. <laughs> That's your response. You still go shards. Well, you don't you don't buy battle fury, but you got shards. No, no, you buy three battle furies. Come on. You buy two and three rapiers, and then one daedalus. That was your inventory. There was no backpack. <laughs> oh, I remember when there was no backpack. Backpack was actually such a smart idea. Still not one in league. The league items are really boring. They don't really have many cool items. I've heard. Well, my friends who play league start making up league problems. And, like, they always do, I guess. But I don't think. So, uh, I was talking to my buddy who worked, plays league, and he said they did a huge item update, like, a month ago. A month or two ago. A while ago. But, uh, so maybe the items are good now. Dota items are just so much cooler because they actually have actives. Just what I've been waiting for. Yeah, I mean they're stuck at their base. They're not even like farming this wave because they have no idea where the other team is. Wait, no, they do. They see them all in this work. Yeah, they're just AFK in base for no reason, I guess. DK realized he could leave base. Marfling let realized he could leave base, but he went here. Instead of here. <laughs> so, uh, I was gonna say maybe DK is a high MR player, but then DK turned around. The DK should still be going at that wave. You're not helping like this. Is he just sitting in trees? He's like, you're coming to game. Yeah, but you're not fighting Strax without more. Somebody made the call, probably one of these. Like, one of the, either Quap or Panga probably made the call it, hey man, we should defend this. But like, what do you do? Jake69, you fool, you should have gone and hit the tower. You know what? The wave is dead, and they all walked away, and they didn't kill them while the enemy team is dead. Sounds like some low skill Dota, Ronald. So it sounds like, no, it sounds like DK. DK, what's, what's a, what's the spell called in, in like, wow, when you, Fear everyone away. Isn't that just like Lone Druidy? Like Savage Roar or whatever? Yeah, so DK came in and used Savage Roar and everybody ran away. <laughs> Affirmative, yes, he, see? Affirmative. Yeah, he can hear us in spirit. DK is on winded. Finders, keepers. Oh, they're not smoking into this. There's. Yellow made the call that they want. He wants bottom side, but you're not getting bottom side without a smoke. Yeah, he's just dead. He popped a regen, and he, he's not even gonna lose it. This is a classic. Like, hey guys, I want to retake bottom, and then you walk in the jungle by yourself, and start getting mad at you. Oh, was it a a bait and switch? No, wait. No way. Okay, they got him. Jug is here, but he's not killing anything, I don't think. Except they have Vessel. And he's just a... Oh, he blinked into that. 
Yeah, they're not killing anything. A bait and switch by the guap. He he puts he draws on the map over here, but what he really meant was over there. Genius. Probably should take a look at this quad player, you know. Yeah, probably could probably could learn a thing or two. Oh, right mean, there. He ults. No, it's night. It's night time right now. Anyway, so it doesn't actually give him any like attack bonus. No, it gives him attack. It does give him. Attack. Like, I think you're supposed to ult at the during this, like, but not at the start. I mean, I guess it worked. Oh, did it? Work? Yeah, it worked. I'm pretty sure Radiant is supposed to hear that ult and be like, it's actually easier to fight into Aegis without Night Stalker ult than it is to fight at Roche into Night Stalker ult. Spirit Baker does buy back again. For what purpose, I do not know, since there's only one hero alive. Oh, he's not buying anything. He's giving up. Look, he thinks he's getting an eggs. <laughs> he thinks eggs is a good item. What is it? What does eggs do? Is that the one that gives him BKB? Is the AOE bash right now? Oh, it's just increased speed and cooldown. Never mind. It, it reduces it's it by a. Like, no, it's good. It's good. Not this game. I mean, you're never finishing it, and it doesn't work against Ember. But exactly, that's why it's not good. This game it doesn't work against like their most important hero. <laughs> yeah, it sucks when you have like a. You have a stunner hero, and it doesn't even work against their, like, elusive hero. I was about to say, actually, it's not so awful, because, like, he doesn't have the vessel, so he's not a high-priority target, but I still don't know why you go it. Uh, this looks like it, this looks like it, I think. They got the Aegis. Dude, E-Blade doesn't even take off lame bird. <laughs> Probably, he's probably at like 50. He's all edgy. He's all edgy, just didn't work? He just has a big shield. Yeah, this is why you can't be all edgy against a vessel. Because you're not actually healing. He gained 300 HP. This looks like it's it for Radiant Ronald. No. Pop up back, but she, she doesn't have Yeah, Spearbreaker should have went top this game and helped kill that Coddle and Jug. And Quap really messed up. Like, uh, losing those trades against Coddle when he's supposed to destroy that Coddle. Then the, the Morph, I mean, the, even then, I don't know if it matters because how does Morph win this game? Yeah, DK is not a DK is not doing anything. DK is like a I win if my team wins. This is why you don't second pick your win condition, dude. It's cringe. What should we have seen out of the draft three in this game? Um, obviously, no second pick morph, and even if you do second pick morph, no DK. Yeah, if you They're second pick morph, yeah. I think they have to. Maybe Morph has to go safe lane, you have to pick a better mid laner, but I mean it was Ember, so you want to go mid on Morph. Pretty sure Monkey King was banned, so they couldn't go Monkey King. I mean, Morph is useless this game, so you have to pick a hero that can actually do something, probably like Ursa. To ask him if there's a game three right after he got yeah, game three. It looks like um, it looks like like uh the match was set up to be a best of three. 
like at the top you can see the indicator. Usually they do rat like two games. And that's what they do in regular R U two L. Oh, there is a game three. I don't I think that guy learned his lesson. He's like it depends. Let me see what is in Mars. Okay, so he's a. Uh, I th I think it was Caden. So he's Legend Two, and then their their safe laner is Ancient Four. Yeah, if he's Legend Two, he's not g going out of the game saying, "Man, my team sucks. That's why I couldn't win with Morph." He's saying, "Man, dude, what I've been Morph." I'm never, I'm never playing Morph again. Don't worry, Ronald. I'll hide the password for you. You don't need to hide the password. Is there a way to, uh, to like cast just like random games, or to like you have to find a game to cast? This is actually kind of fun. You have to find a game to cast. This one. Because uh, I think if you try to cast a random game, they're just going to kick you out of the lobby. Well, it wouldn't be hard to, to find a place to cast, though. Probably not. I'm not sure if I, again, I'm not sure if I'd be good at it, though. Like, I might be okay at it, but... I think OD Pixels got to look out because somebody's joining the arena. Uh-oh, is it, is, it, is it you or me? Wait. It's uh it's the squad, dude. It's Duders. It's Duders. Uh oh. You heard Duders cast last game. This guy. I heard Duders cast last game. He really had it going. This guy's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go grab some fruit. I'll be right back. I have cherries. I can go grab some cherries. There's some problems with the coordinator. Director coordinator. Ooh. Ooh. I'm watching politics is for power video until they get that sorted out. Because you go to the same bar every week or whatever it is, like you have a leg up. Uh, 
in your in your neck of the woods. You know, it's just like you know. Fine. Yeah, I was gonna say um, I my history is really bad. Uh, so I only have a on it. It's it feels like American politics used to be way more localized, um, and it feels like the disappearing of two big institutions. Um, one are kind of like the, the church. Uh, personally, I'm very atheist, but it seems like the church played a really important role in like having communities of people together that were interacting, that were doing service, that were knowing each other, that were forming relationships. Um, and then it seemed like unions used to play bigger roles in communities as well. And as these two things have kind of, or from my perspective, have largely subsided from American culture, nothing is really. These blueberries taste like grapes. Uh, not really. Let me just fix my screen next. Time. What's going on here? Oh, dude, do we got. Should we add you to the casting list? Casting list. Oh, where's Dooders? Dooders, I don't know where Dooders is. I think he's AK. Or else he's making music. <laughs> Dude, you see our, you see our, our, uh, our panel? Is it you guys? <laughs> yeah, dude. You in uh, Moscow? And Dooders. Moscow and Dooders? Yeah, Dooders is at the pot. Okay, <laughs> I got... Oh, I got these like kids like fruit juices that come in barrels dude and they're so good it's like a little plastic barrel dude they are it comes in a comes in a barrel and it's like it's like like lime juice you poke a straw through it what more are these noobs at I, th I think the highest of our lobby is like Ancient Four. Ew. What do you mean that's good? That means there's no dumpy divines. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. Freaking dumpy divines, dude. Dude, I've yet I've yet to see a good divine player. Last time I saw a divine player, I picked Shadow Shaman and I ripped him a new one. I said, "Come, on, you're not ready. Okay? <laughs> you're just not ready." Maybe like two years. You're, you're just making it up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, has it actually? It's been like two years, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. yeah you're, you're finally ready to fix Shadow Shaman. Can't wait till I meet him my pub dude. <laughs> I don't even know if I met him again. He was like rank 200. Yeah. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Do they ban? Twenty customers. Because uh, my friends are playing. It's look, it's Espoo. Yeah, but who cares? What else am I gonna do, dude? I don't... <sighs> do they first pick Nyx? What do what do you what do you, how do you feel about that, Carlos? You think? Hmm. Five seconds remaining. So uh, yeah, so that's yeah, okay, that's an assassin. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's it. What do you think about the Nyx assassin nerfs? You know what? Nyx assassin's a good heal because he can stun, so that's good. <laughs> that is true. True. I think in Insania would agree with you. Insania got knocked out today, bro. Really? Like all the A's not going to the tournament for sure? Yeah. So, that sucks, dude. Liquid's my favorite team in EU. Yeah, Alliance took them pretty good. Frick Alliance. They should be irrelevant again. They're actually getting... They're actually way, way good. Yeah, they're, the current, they're really good. Isn't the current Liquid roster the former Alliance roster? Yeah, that's why Alliance should just disappear. True. A bad one. I haven't seen this here in a hot minute. Let alone first picked. Yeah. They waited like a minute to pick it, so. I don't think they planned on picking it. 
It's the first hero. Like, it's, if, you, if you're ranging them all off the bat, it's... Espen must have been, been like, Why'd you ban my coddle? Give me Abaddon. And he's like, I'm not giving you Abaddon. Fick you. Five seconds remaining. Phoenix. Five seconds remaining. Will we see the second pick morph again? Do you think that's a Nyx 5 or a Phoenix 5, Carlos? You play those heroes more than I do. Uh, it's pro it's probably gonna be a it's probably gonna be a, probably gonna be a Nyx five. Analyst desk came back says it's gonna be a Nyx five. I don't know, man. These ancient, these ancient MMR games, I don't think it happen. Trash can ancients. Oh, dude, he heard. He's like, should we pick Ursa? Uh, I guess it's better more. I don't know, I feel like it's not bad. You're playing against the Phoenix. And Abaddon can shield off any stuns. Yeah, I think the Abaddon pick was trash, but Ursa's good. So, I didn't say the pick was good, I just said it's good with the Ursa. So. You got two. <laughs> I know, I just want to disagree with you. Fuck you. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dude, I lost the viewer. This means that dude is coming around. Where'd duders go? Oh. Are you slamming your desk? Who is it breathing into their microphone and it's not me? Oh, I'm eating my barrel, sorry. Good, what? I like biting on plastic. What? Mm -hmm. you, did you ever eat the pens as a kid? You're disgusting. There's like a notch in my teeth where pens go, like per perfectly. Oh this is where I keep for growing. I like to put pens in there. And that's where I eat my. That's where I soak my straws too. You disappoint me. Why? I'm, I'm sure you did something worse as a kid, like I don't know, rape somebody. As much the blueberries are not that good. Radiant team's turn to pick. All right, back back into super serious mode. They banned Ur Jug Mars Weaver, and I don't know why, but this Jakiro team is banning Viper every game. So I don't know. Maybe maybe it, I don't know. Maybe they're just afraid. Maybe they had like a bad experience with like an offline viper or something. Maybe their mid laner is is drafting, and so he just is banning things he didn't like. <laughs> don't want to play against Viper. Don't want to play against Od. Don't want to play against Wind Ranger. Is Od even a mid hero anymore? Or is he like just offline? He's a mid hero too. And if you play Ember against him, you're gonna be really upset. Od's annoying. No, he's always been that way. Yeah, she just removed him. New OD? I haven't really talked to you since the new patch came out. Uh, what do you think about Five New OD? Oh, uh, he's, he's kind of broken. He got nerfed pretty hard, but he's seen pretty broken. Mm -hmm. I should just remove that girl. Or will change his kit completely. I don't know why they keep on changing his kit, though. Like, uh... Like, what was it? I don't know. How many like iterations of Odin have we been through in the past like five years? Like more than five. More, more than, than any other hero. Yeah. Like I, I don't think any of those were particularly broken. Like. Like when Void had backtrack, Void was a stupid hero. It was, a, it was annoying. But they just they took away backtrack and it was cool. Odin is just a stupid hero. <laughs> All four of his spells. I'm never gonna win zero for the game though. There's just no way. Like, um, I don't know. I think I'll just set bad precedent. They don't want to have to do it. Better. Where are the OD spammers that are gonna miss him? True. True. He will not be missed. But like, you know, today they remove OD. 
tomorrow they remove Mark Warden. And who's next? Chris Te Maida, Techies? You know? Yeah, take, take them all away, dude. Pretty soon the only heroes left in the game are Shadow Fiend and everyone goes mid. Nice. Then maybe the Elon Musk Elon Musk say I can win a game. Dire King's turn to pick. Earthshaker. Earthshaker. Boy, these guys should have me playing Earthshaker. I'll tell you what. I like how they, they stop picking Morph and they start picking Earthshaker. <laughs> yeah, that's the mute. Huh? No, it's not the it's not the mute. Okay, where did they even pick her? Monkey King's still in. But he's not the best against Ursa. Troll seems pretty good. Dire King's turn to ban. I'm... Oh, oh my god. Dude, this guy's in my head. Alright, so... Radiant probably needs their mid hero. I'm not sure who their offline is, but uh, they probably need a mid hero. This is a snap mid. Pyro Bam is good. Also needs. Five seconds remaining. Dyer needs either a mid hero or a uh, offline hero, depending where the tango goes. Hmm. Radiant teams turn to ban. Since Radiant are your boys, who 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 is the mid pick for Radiant? Do you think that's still in the pool? They just banned two really good ones. You... If he plays it, you can probably go Lycan here. I guess you wait to see what he has. That's decent. I think you can go with uh, DK too. Be wrong. Huh? Your PC's loud, man. You hear it. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that the whole time. Let me try something. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me that much, but... Did that fix it at all? Yeah, it made it a bit better. I was using my microphone, or my, my, my... I wasn't using my mic, I was using my webcam. Back? Okay, it's quieter, but it's still there, never mind. That's me, that's me talking. Storm Spirit for the Dire and for the Radiant. The final countdown. Who are we going to see? The Ember Spirit? Against the Troll Five Warlord? DK is like really bad against Storm because you use Storm's very good games. You shouldn't ghost. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know what I Because Puck is banned. That's what you want to pick here. Skyrath is a cuck mid hero, so I would never pick it. Yikes. I don't even this isn't even a good Skyrath game, is it? Oh well, it's it's decent, right? It's good against Storm, decent against Troll. It's not good against Storm. Like but it, Yeah, you have a silence that's good, but if the Storm ever zips on you, you're just fucking dead. I think it was if yeah. I think this was an off offline off Abaddon, this would be a lot better. Because yeah, Abaddon actually has to do a lot this game for them to push towers. Oh yeah, who's their uh, offlane player? Is this is a slasher or the other? Yeah, it's player? an offlane shaker. Okay. I play, uh, I play Spur of course Kyrath Mage, or I used to play it a lot. I feel like I don't know. This hero just gets pooped on by so many heroes. Five seconds remaining. It's a very it's a very like razor's edge between pooping on other people well, and getting pooped on. I'm pretty sure Nick's assassin is gonna walk up to him and do like a thousand damage in mana burn. Yeah, just like that W button. Wait, what are you watching? 
We're watching the e- we're we're casting the Quincy versus EG game live. Ooh. All of us. Whoever shows up here. Yeah, I still didn't watch that game. Hey, go grab some water. All right, Ronald. What do you feel about the draft? Uh, Dyer wins. You sure? Troll's gonna have a really good. really strong. Troll's gonna have a really good game. He just goes like Battle Fury Manta, and then Troll's really good against Rusa. Yeah. Is this live or is this a redo? Live. It's live. It's game three of the tournament. Snapfire will kind of the Phoenix. Yeah, but Phoenix doesn't have to even hold this game. It's like it's a bait in the draft. You it were like you pick two heroes to counter something not that important. Um, Picking Ursa is good because Ursa not caring about Phoenix actually matters. But it's like if you had a PA who can't touch the Phoenix, that's when the the Snapfire matters. But Snapfire, Snapfire is not gonna really matter against the Phoenix because you already have Ursa. So you, I don't think it's a bad Snapfire game, but like when they picked it, but that doesn't suddenly make Radiant win because their big problem is they can't push a tower because Ursa is gonna walk in and Trolls just gonna hit him back. And he's gonna get uh, disarmed by the Pango. So their last pick has to be able to push towers, because the way they they just they can't kill any towers, and if you can't kill towers, you can't win. The other way to win is just killing heroes, which their draft does really well. They're just if, but the problem is troll is gonna be hard to kill. And once he gets Manta, he's unkillable, and then Storm. Is gonna be unkillable once he has yules. Mm-hmm. So, do you go yule first on Swarm, or do you get like Orchid first? In this game, you have to go uh, yule first. Looks like he's going Orchid, so Radiant might actually win because of that. <laughs> That's like, uh, cause Radiant will get ahead and then hit this timing on Dire where Dire can't die anymore, and then Radiant slowly loses it all. That's like how this game will go. I think, mm-hmm. but Storm isn't going Yules, it looks like, so <laughs> Radiant probably just wins if they get a lead. I don't think it's that bad, but yeah, that's it's pretty bad. Not going Yules. <laughs> they both missed it. That happens more than you think, dude. Uh, whenever I miss a creep and I see the other guy miss it, it's always funny. What's up with your mic? What, what's up with you? Are you here again? Are you okay? Here Is your mic okay? You just got a loud APC. Th- does it get quieter when I do this? No, it gets louder yeah. when you do that. <laughs> I, I moved up to my PC. <laughs> I thought you had like a really good PC where you didn't have any issues. No, I have a really bad PC because it's like six years old though. Oh, are you going to buy another one? Probably. I'm deciding if I if I could afford to or not. Because I could afford to, but it's like, should I really? You know, because my PC does work. I'm just gonna play Dota on it. You could always do what Jeremy always does, like buy a new one and give the one that one to like one of the little kids. Well, I I also I have really have really important files in this computer, so I need everything in here. If anything, I would upgrade it. You want your little brother to see Uh, I just dude, I literally. I have like, like three, because I keep all my pen foster files in here too, and I still go back to it, especially for coding stuff. Whenever you coded something before, you want to be able to have like, go back to it and just take your old code. I have like three years worth of stuff in here. Can't you just like move the files, like upload it to the cloud or something? Yeah, it'd take a while, but I think uh, there's like a really fast way to do it. My buddy Christopher is going to help me with that whenever I'm, not, not Chris, actual Christopher, whenever I end up doing that. Yo, 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 put up, the, put up the CS chart. What are you doing right now? It's just at game stats. Get what do you mean? It's, there's the CS that are up. I'm a professional caster. Of course CS is up. True. 
It's right. Your mic shows you. Right, that's true. Achoo. Achoo. Holy what? shoot. Sneezing in the middle of the game? Oh my goodness. Unprofessional. You're a professional cat for the ass here. Oh. Oh. He could win this yeah. trade if he presses Q. Does cause the, does he know that scatter? <laughs> uh, uh, well, he's dead though. Uh, sc uh, scatter blast reduces attack speed, so Phoenix is actually screwed up really bad getting right next to him because he's gonna take a ton of damage and then he can't attack anymore. But then he just didn't use scatter blast and then he turned and dies because he turned to miss scatter blast. <laughs> Classic talk. Classic talk. Are you sure popping professional Dota? Dude, dude, that, professional yeah, dude, that was Puppy who just died in the hallway. Oh, what? True. Sad oh, thing. yeah, dude, could, a, could an amateur pull off this pole? <laughs> nope. Uh, that pole is uh, hard, dude. I actually don't know how to do it. I always awesome. make fun of people for not knowing how to do poles, but that one's, I don't know how to do it. You are practicing a lot, dude. What are you doing? Well, because most poles you can just eyeball, oh but that one you god. actually gotta freaking know, you know? Oh my god, beautiful cookie coming out from top. You missed it, Ronald. It was the best cookie you've ever I seen. I saw it, dude. It was good. I was impressed. Liar. Oh, Chris. Come out with huh? the flame of the ball, oh. Ronald. Two seconds on cook. He's winning this trade. What is why did troll turn? Cause troll's a dum dum. He's about to get pooped on more. Damn. Taking damage, dude. You gonna have a chant totem again? Nope. He shouldn't go for it. That was a good trade. Troll just turns and starts hitting the snap fire randomly in front of a whole creep wave. He needs to stop and let this hit him. Uh, that's fine. Just get the range creep. Is this the right Earthshaker build though? He's going up. Uh, looks like he's going max Down W. You go. Yeah, I would max W against Troll because it's uh. Or I would I would go like one four one two two. Because uh, this thing has a. Uh, Trick strike, so against Troll you could kind of like you could mess him up, you know. That makes sense. Not for myself. I was thinking that like I, you can I mess him up, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a melee hero, yeah, but he's also a ranged hero, so like he could just dodge like the enchant like totem. Kind of like just stay out of range whenever. Yeah, dude. Him. He should have got magic stick. Naked magic stick against this guy. Don't give up. Wait, who are you watching right now? Uh, we're watching Quincy versus EG. We're the live casters. Yeah, nice. miss. The real live casters. Uh, he was slow on his mango. Dude, reaction speed of a sloth. <laughs> oh, he would have died if he would have been toggling his Berserker's Rage between attacks. He has both bounties. This, I'm assuming Pango is just playing really passive. But, oh yeah, that was, yeah, I was gonna say, that seemed like a bad uh, go. Gonna yeah. take some damage from the Ursa. It's nice, like, let me get the CS with my Q. He needs to shield him before he gets... ...swashed. He's probably thinking, like, I need to wait until he's done. Yeah, he sh you can't wait because this is a 10 second cooldown. He could've just got two shields off and they both live. No. Yeah, saving spells is good sometimes, but they're... Eh, just not really a reason to. Pretty sure Nick's already stunned. That's another thing. Storm is him? raping him on CS. Dude, I'm telling you, man. This this matchup is not Skyrath favorite at all. You get out CS. Storm just buys south. Like, and then he just zips and kills you. Yeah, but Storm's going Orchid. That is true. Storm is going Orchid. None of this shit that we're talking about matters if he doesn't build the right fucking item. I'm just gonna zip in and then he's gonna be silent to die. What if I silence the what if I silence the Skyrath first? Well what if Skyrath? I mean Skyrath should build eagles too. Honestly. Yeah, this is first for Gavaros. Kind of a meme. That's good though.
go to bed. I woke up at like. I'm always tired already. It's only 10 15. As you're waking up at noon. Damn, Steven. Bro, my mom woke me up. She needed to talk to me. Check. Moscow? I'm sorry, but thank you. And then she kicked you out of the house. Never come back. No, I got summoned for jury duty. Oh, you were on the Overwatch case? No, I meant literal jury duty. Well, that. Th Alright, that's what I said. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Top Ew. Uh, I can I can get out of it because I'm a student, but she needed she needs me to send me uh, uh, info, so I need to do that. There. I'm never good enough. Ah. Like I don't I don't live where I'm being summoned to jury duty. I normally like live in a city that's like an hour and a half to myself, so I'd have to drive there and skip classes to be on jury. Here's a real question. How come it's such bad quality? How come you're such bad quality? I'm tired. I don't, I don't even hear that from the, the quietest caster on the couch, okay? Quietest. Oh, I got another I viewer. Your, dad, your PC does make it pretty loud. Get yeah, that go. Oh, he stacked the stuns, but he wasn't spamming R. <laughs> You saw there's that split second where it trolled your lip. I mean, you sure this is a professional again? Yeah, dude, that was our that was our TZ troll. People are playing for real money, okay, for real pride. This there's there's like you're lying. there's ten well, billion well, dollars on the line in this game, okay? Well, I ever lie to you. Okay. I like you're lying. Oh, I lie. Think you're lying? Are you a liar? Oh. I have never lied before in my life, and I'm telling the truth when I say that. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That was pretty cool. That was good. Cookie. That was a sick cookie. Oh. Oh. Here's your block, like. Someone better help Dyer's middle tower. Better block that troll. Uh, I don't think they died for that, though. <laughs> 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 oh, Storm TP's uh oh. 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 He went the wrong way. I mean, he still died, but this... Everything at this point is a waste of mana from Mr. Storm. Oh, then Skyra turns it around and kills somebody, at least. What? Oh, he has no mana. Does he? doesn't have mana, though. I think he gets six off of this kill. No, he doesn't. Yikes. This is another problem with Skyrath. You have such huge mana problems on this hero. Even as a core. Yeah, where's... Where's his, uh... His six no talismans to get the mana region? That is true. That was a nice... Well, he, also, he doesn't have a bottle. You don't... I don't know. A bottle's not really the best on this hero because you can't wait for a bottle. Yeah, it's like he's... Oh. Something happened bottom. There's another problem with Core Skyrath Mage. You can't wait clear. What you gonna do? This is why I play this hero offline because we give a shit about wave clear. Maybe this middle tower shouldn't have to oh. take this abuse? Nice. Middle tower isn't going to always good. Yeah, but you don't need to draft your offlaner for it. He's someone else's job. I definitely, oh, what about, definitely. What about Underlord, you know? He's pretty good. I mean, just because Underlord is good at wave doesn't mean that every offlaner is good at wave. What about Sanky? Uh, what about Mars? What about Beastmaster? You can't just. You can only come up with one case I've had three, so you lose. Smile. <laughs> What about, uh, what about nature's profit? He clears with his ult. Uh, his ult on what? Why did you turn on this? Uh oh. Oh! Uh -oh. That was an elaborate bait for this moment here. That was a good dodge. Oh, Earth is here too, but he has a... yeah. Well, Abaddon's getting the space he needs to become their tower pusher. Deserves just as much help as bottom. Hey, what? That's, that's a troll, like, sir. This kill on the Phoenix. Or sorry, not just this guy is like, I need to kill this Phoenix or else I'm a useless hero. Dude, he had, tw then, he had like 20 stick and raindrops. He's never dying. 
Spire's middle tower isn't going to last long. Uh-oh. Another one. Uh-oh. That's even better. Kevin, what about Hawthorne of Batten? He doesn't fear waves. Plus, oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Let's stand in the way of it. No boots, Battle it's, Fury? Yours is on track for a decent attack. timing. Yo, what's going on with this guy's mic? What? That's your mic, bro. It's just like it's screaming at me. Is it still doing it? Yeah. Yes, we can hear it, Ronald. We've been hearing it for a long ass time. The Discord isn't even lighting up. How can you hear that? We hear it whenever oh, like you talk. I, it's not like you talk and then I hear that back and the feedback noise or whatever. But like your mic is on. Okay, let me try something. Can you hear it over yeah. here? Yeah. Yo, Chris, don't ever do that again. Can you hear it? Say it. No, that's better. Not anymore, nice. no. Oh, okay, it is, it is. Okay, my mic is working properly then. I went to the corner of my room. I guess my PC is just really freaking loud. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Maybe there's like a setting I could fix, but I don't think so. Um, oh well. Troll, troll died. Beautiful. Guessing he just got silenced. Died. Tower I guess. Top tower died. It's really important. Fifteen minutes. This tower. Ne this tower needs to die before fifteen minutes. These guys are. Not too long. Uh, right before battle fury. This guy's gonna get himself killed. No, uh, snap is an FOP. Or you, uh, you meant to snap. Alright, never mind. Yeah. I caught that kill. Well, my trade is at that exact moment, so I missed that kill. <laughs> it was uh, it was troll kill, you creep. Did you also catch Sirius to die? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. You use a oh, Abaddon? D. 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 D D oh. oh man. He should have just popped it to get out of vortex. I think he would definitely have done that. No, he's fine. This is why he's Phoenix throwing more spells. Imagine if Skyrath wasn't farming that creep camp and Phoenix just insta dies. Like, Whoa! Remember that one game where I picked a pause when Skyrath made? No. Uh, I do. That was a fun game. Seems kind of bad. No, yeah, it was. It was fun though. Oh, I guess that's the one. shaker's matters. blink coming along. Ah, it's it's slow, dude. Oh, I guess he's third net worth. Dude, where's everybody's farm? Oh no, he has a lot of items. He has a bracer, wand, and a soul ring. Yeah, I used to do this build on shaker, but then I realized I was getting like 17 minute blink daggers, and it was just like not good. Uh, it's good if you're gonna occupy a lane and just like. Like, let's say him and Troll were just top fighting each other. And he should have a Bracer instead of this magic wand. Because uh, the Soaring's doing too much damage to him. And you already get mana off Soaring. But you know what else the wand gives you? HP, but not enough. Big brain. Big brain. Do you have a Red Bull too? I got two wards oh, in this jungle. Terrifying. This tower needs to die. How is this alive in 15 minutes? And Phoenix is like putting wards out to be like, guys, we should be down here. It's because Troll is farming jungle, that's why. Skyrath caught. Big echo. Oh, uh, he waited until this guy wasn't stunned anymore. Oh, big. But it doesn't matter, it looks like. Oh, Todd's getting greedy. Does he get him? I don't think that's enough. I think it was correct not to go for the storm there on top. It was really tickled up. It's a mad skill to get that kill. Picking up an Arcane. Then this guy's starting to wish he wasn't building a freaking Orchid. What? Th Skyrath got back there, though. And that's really bad yeah, by him. That's, that's really awful. If he dies again, like his game's over, and Storm is right about to get to work it, so they could lose their whole leap. And he's not he's not even building he's not building Yule either, he's building oh, Blink Dagger AI. Yeah, he went, like. he went boots and traps. Oh, oh he's gonna, he's gonna well he's not dying for a while, because Storm is gonna take like 
an extra minute to farm his item now. Good play. That actually might have just got that. that might have Dude, this guy perfect. still doesn't have Battle Fury because he's just been farming jungle like a retard instead of hitting this tower. Whoa, 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 careful. This is a Twitch. I'm so, I'm and so upset. Never mind. Hear Mason say that word. How is he, how is he not killing that tower? Sort of probably can do whatever he wants, okay? Oh. Oh. He called Pokemon retarded too. Oh. Wait, wait, how, wait, how do, wait, how did they not get that kill? Okay. That'd be... I was gonna say, I don't think this is a feed because he's make like, uh, he's setting up a counter play here. But he didn't even, like, die like I thought he would. Big zip, big zip. Catch. Oh no, he screwed it up. If he hit that correctly, he was dead because he had an ancient cell. And then he could just walk up and enchant totem. Mm. Even though he didn't have the concussive shot, he would have been stuck right here. Dude, I'm, gonna actually, I'm just going to bed right now. Fuck it, I'm so tired. Never oh, wake up. I'll wait until you end this game, because then I'm going to bed right away. Oh yeah, they picked Snap and a mix. I would do it. Pokey Fitch? Yeah, the Pango kind of made that worth it. Oh, wait. He's working. He's region pop. <laughs> oh, no. Rip region. Region canceled. No zip. Work it revealed. No happiness. Bad cookie. Oh, beautiful Fisher. He has no mana. Yeah, you got him. Whoop. Idiot. Dude, Radiant still has a chance. I was surprised. I thought after that sky buyback, the game was over. But the Radiant needed to get some good picks. Oh, uh, dude, if, if Storm just runs in and dies, all is good. Does he win a work it, remember? No Battle Fury on Troll. Well, no, Troll does have the Battle Fury. It looks like they're just going into the Roche. Yeah, but why isn't, why isn't Troll over here? Why is he in here? Dude, don't you? Have you been paying attention? Jungle is safer. If you're in jungle, you don't have to pay attention to anything. But, like, if you're in lane, you have to be aware. You know? Yeah, but... If you're in jungle, you lose the game, and if you're in lane, you can win the game. Well, fuck you. Anyway, if we look at, you know, it looks like that Radiant is spreading out across the map once again. Um, getting some lanes pushed, unlike the Stroll Warlord. He's, he's in nature. It looks like. He's, he's gonna. gonna dire, oh! In their remember these wards that Phoenix got in here forever ago? Yeah. They played the entire game like this side. I feel like Dyer is not. They have like they have. Phoenix has an idea of what should happen, and nobody else does. And this this guy, they're not listening to him. I don't think this is oh. a pro game. Storm's figuring it out. It's a pro game. Storm has migrated to the bottom lane. They're playing for thirteen billion dollars out there. They're playing for the whole shebang. Yeah. I don't think uh -oh. so. I think you're a liar. No, Jake, no. they can. They're huge. You're a big dumb, stupid head buyer. Yeah, they're willing to trade this, but if they don't have to, they won't. They call me Honest Mosco. That's what they called me in prison. He has bull whip. He could chase this guy. In prison? Yeah. He should TP. I didn't do it, though. Nah, he's fine. But even Pango built a Yules. Even he was like, you know what? Yules is pretty good in this game. David Ursa? It was good. Yeah, he's going BKB next, I guess he needs to. Oh, wait, no, he switched. He did it. No, he switched a quick fly around, but look at it. He's buying Yules. Yeah. I mean, I think if you go Orchid, you actually have to go second out of BKB because there's also a Shaker. So, what would his build have been if he got Yule first? Would it have been Yule BKB Orchid or Yule Orchid BKB? Like Yule Bloodstone. How does Bloodstone make it so you don't have to buy BKB? Because uh, you're tankier. You could just survive, you know? You could survive the Earthshaker stuns, and the silence won't kill you, so you're good. Just don't get stunned. Don't get shifted. Pretty much. Whoa! That's crazy. Bloodstone is the- you build that, and then you're allowed to get stunned, and you're just- you just walk away. 
are really just tanking the power. Yeah. Yeah. They're the shield. I don't know. What, <laughs> they're not killing this guy. Troll has migrated to bottom and refuses to clear waves. He's migrated to bottom to hit the jungle. I, you know what I think he's afraid of? I think he's the, I think he's afraid of the Skyrath hero. I think he's uh, afraid that he can cut the shot and die. Because the Skyrath was showing. I think he's afraid of the yeah. creeps. I think he's afraid of this guy right here. No, he's afraid that like the Skyrath will just start TPing in a tree or something to come and kill him at any moment. Oh, this guy's nasty. That, that range creep is nothing. Great. Yeah, but doesn't he... Doesn't he just use this this right here? Isn't he in more danger now because he TP'd without Skyrath TPing? That is true. So there's no way he thought that through. <laughs> no, he, he wasn't thinking. That's my point. You didn't make that point at the start. You know what, Chris? Shut the fuck up, okay? Whoa. I, I am I am the divine three player here, and you are pathetic, Chris. That's what you are. Call call by his rank. Wait, divine? Yeah. I thought divine was subhuman, so you don't matter. True. Oh, oh that's crazy. I got I got gotten so hard. True. True. Got a beacon on our side. Coming up on the uh, on the bottom tower for radiant here. Yeah, he, he opts to go for the BKB at the end on Storm. Wait, no, he switched again just now though. Did he? Oh yeah, my he gosh. <laughs> go BKB, dude. He gotta he needs to trust his first instinct. Or a second instinct. The first instinct to go you'll uh work it was stupid. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Troll's not building items uh, uh I mean I don't know how BKB helps him kill Ursa. But maybe it is what he needs. I think he's like BKB and Basher, or else BKB and Butterfly. Radiant's top tower deserves just as much help as bottom. Storm gets the DD top. It's probably gonna be a, a try to be a fight. Oh wait, no, he might just sit on the, on the Skyrath here. He sees him. Eh, it's... Uh, nope, he's, still, he's looking at bottom. But Skyrath's cooldown? He can't TP. There is an op- yeah, they're making an opening. No, oh, but they use BKB. Wow. He doesn't have Aegis. What was this fight? Like, they were missing two heroes. The yeah, Troll's not even here, by the way. Meanwhile, Skyrath somehow just killed Pretty sure Troll has a TP. Yep, he had a TP the whole time. <laughs> so this fight did not look very good for Radiant at the very beginning, but uh, now it looks like that is Well, it <laughs> turns, turns out, in the end, Dire actually brought less heroes somehow. <laughs> Or what has happened, yeah. Are that... That's Troll's fault. Why is he not there? Is this Troll at BKB right now? Yeah, he just barely got it, Shut but up. like... He's just hitting creeps while this team is fighting out of here too. You either don't take that fight or Troll shows up. Are you sure this is professional? This feel professional though. Yeah, dude, that this is a classic Arteza cool. move. This team oh, no, loses okay. the game while he farms groups. To learn how to play professional Dota, Chris. You're a liar. I well, I've never lied. When Radiant I wins ten billion dollars, you're gonna eat your words. The movie, they called me Lion Adam, but that was just an ironic nickname. Nice. I think it was true, and you were just lying. Mm, no. Lion Adam would never lie. Oh, I think he would. He's such a liar. <laughs> Why is he going axe? Oh my gosh. Don't ever I want to use the old. Okay. Don't ever buy axe in this hero, okay? Oh, Don't yeah. ever do it. Don't even think about doing it. Didn't you used to buy axe in this hero all the time? Yeah, then they nerfed it. And they made other things broken. So Go what item do you buy in the hero right now? Arcane Blink or just Arc Blink? Yeah, Octarine Arcane Blink. Yeah. And you have the crazy cooldown reduction and like the, the far cast range too. Because Octarine Core like builds like from Aether Lens. Echo Slam, right? Am I right? I think it's. Even with the, the nerfs to this, you could still get like 8 seconds of stun if you just blink on top of them. An AoE Fiends group. It does more damage. 
Maybe he's trying to catch the storm spirit. You're not. That's not. This isn't even I catch storm spirit. The arcane link catches storm spirit. Oh, no, no, no. Pops BKB. BKB Andal? Yeah, Yo, Sky needs to build a E Blade. Yo, all this, all this about needs to do is stand next to the Troll Lord and just arc on Yeah. Imagine egging on Phoenix with all three of your spells up. All three of your spells up and you egg. Are you sure this is professional? Skyrath Mate goes down to the Pangolier. Meanwhile, other four Radiant Heroes all running at the Nyx Assassin. So that is a one for one with a buyback on Phoenix, or two for one, I guess, with a buyback on Phoenix. What do you think, Morgan? What are you talking about? Yeah, are we watching a professional game? Oh, I'll, I'll, light, I'll, I'll, light, I'll light you, bro. He lied to me? He lied to you. False. But we never lied to you. What? These guys haven't even picked up our I don't even think they need it. Dude, he buys Yules. <laughs> it's too late, Storm. You can't buy 30 minute Yules. They're beating on Dyer's top tower. Oh. Shaker randomly dies. He's like, whoa. Ice didn't help me at all. <laughs> well, to be fair, Arcane Blink would have helped him at all there either. Yeah, but he's. BKB would have. He's missing 4,000 gold. <laughs> he used that 4,000 gold on the best purchase ever. Realistically, this should never happen, though. The pause 5 is farming a second wave bottom, which even carry shouldn't do because it's just so useless, doesn't do anything. The Earth is just hitting Ancients. This guy's been in between the tier 2 and tier 1 for the past minute. Like, they're just scattered around the map, applying no pressure. Killing one wave here releases pressure. Killing two waves does literally nothing. That's not true. It gives them gold. And yeah, but know that if the gold is so like unimportant that even a carry doesn't want it, there's no way a pause five wants it. Is their goal here to set, like, start setting up for a rush They need Abaddon and Ursa to run in and start a fight. The, the Snapfire is playing way too far up right now. It feels like a waste of your money. Either top and bottom have to be pushed in, or, I mean, to, uh, top and middle need to be pushed in, or else bottom and middle need to be pushed in. They're playing the jungles instead of the lanes. And so nothing's happening. It's an AFK Dota. <laughs> Both Koreans are Well, they they can't fight here. If they wanted to. Realistically, Radiant could have ended this game like five minutes ago, but they just aren't, they just farm jungle. I hate this about it, so. The Arthas one? Yeah. That's not Arthas. That's an ugly thing. Abaddon, all, all Abaddon sets are Arthas. Not that one. Arthas looks pretty cool. That one looks like a witch. Imagine looking worse than a Warcraft 3 model. Some Warcraft 3 models are good at it. Yeah, but Dota is a newer game. Oh, Blink Echo. Oh, he does it. He does the Blink Echo. And Storm he has his BKB. Dude, he went Yules and BKB. What the fuck? When he's going Shiva, that's definitely not correct, right? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. That was a slot in the inventory, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, true. It's like, uh, 
Snapfire goes down. My screen froze for a second. No, she's alive. She's fine. Nice shot. That's the one thing that the Dyer does have going for them. They do have pretty good wave clear. Oh, she's got an Arcane. Storm's dead for 30. Or it says DK Diegas, right? Both of them. Yep. Shaker's just walking at her tower. Okay. You're just taking a few tower shots, you know, just to show them that you can. Abaddon and Ursa hit this tower. Wait, Abaddon doesn't know. Well, Ursa hits this tower. Everybody else plays in the trees. They're showing like five heroes for absolutely no reason. Yeah, this guy is not doing damage to this tower. This also reduces Little Shredder. It reduces armor. He should walk up in Little Shredder and run away. I don't know why he's hitting the tower. <laughs> he wants to save a little Strider for the uh, Phoenix ult. Yeah, but he is, he's an Ursa, and even then, it's not worth. Because uh, you little Strider and walk away, and you can't Phoenix ult, because you're not there. No, he's right. True. I mean, he's the one playing for $10 billion, so. True. Oh, no, waste all his mana, and the BKBs. Waste all his mana, and BKBs. Oh. This egg is living. Oh, barely not. Back at it. Oh, he missed that go. <laughs> Storm Yule is paying off. This fight is too split. Storm is gonna live. Troll is gonna live too. Snapfire is gonna die. No, Storm will die. The Shaker Ags, dude. He was gonna chase Storm with it. All he has to do is get Storm to charge from base to right next to his whole team doing zero damage. Oh, his Panko's items are good. Oh, I don't, yeah, Axe is good. Still not quite sure how that ability works, but it, it exists in the game, so. Yeah. I, I don't really know how it works either. <laughs> not exactly. Not, not as recently. Yeah, it's been over. It's just radiant and jungled for a while. I, I don't know, I felt like that all that jungling meant Dyer could have come back like they had all played smart. Yeah, but Troll was just jungling too. <laughs> uh, either way, we shouldn't, we shouldn't counter triple for the half realm. This game is theoretically still in for Dyer as Radiant's patient is not dead. Neither is Dyer's, so... Do this? I, I'm starting to see... I'm gonna bolt sides this one, okay? I see what all of those supports mean when they say, my carry's just jungling, he's not doing anything. And I understand why the carry's like, I have no space! Because they're just in the jungle and they so there's no, because they're not taking the space. Yeah, both both have... cores live. They overstayed. Yeah, and I believe they still have the cheese in the sky right now. I'm not sure if they ever used that. No, I used no, it. They pop it at some point. I don't he used it for mana. Oh, what a chat. Wait, did Moscow tell his first truth in his life? Turns out it's not over. Yeah, I mean it's over. Meanwhile, purple drawing a smiley face on the mini map with, oh my god, with with Skyrim match completing it. What a what what teamwork. Let me add to their smiley face. No, hey, this is a family-friendly Twitch stream. Come on, bro. I, 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 I put the pee, -pee in the mouth. <laughs> it's a good thing that I labeled that the stream may contain some mature content. Because, you know, otherwise I'd be getting banned right now. Yeah. I heard Duder is, is going to report you. Morgan, ban Moscow. Oh. Ban Moscow? Ban me in the... yeah, tell him that he's banned. Moscow, you're banned. I'm an admin. You're also gay. Come on. Oof. You got banned, Moscow. Well, let's just say that both of those suck. Wow, get it? Wait, what up? Did you get the. Wow. I don't even know what you're talking about. I was talking about Moscow and Morgan. Just talking about peepees.
Are you making fun of Morgan? It's not no. very nice. No. Okay, good. Okay, go. He's going eggs, but... I mean, that's good, considering Radiant is always showing five heroes for no pick a reason at all. I'm sure it'll pull, so, pull something off, just like did the bottom. Beautiful sound effect, Ronald. Ganked from across the map. Oh, snap fire peeing bottom lane. Mad that no one's there to defend their tower. Not much good's happening to reading bottom tower. Reading's bottom tower. Oh, we have like at least another two minutes before they push high ground just because we need to wait for bot wave to get there. But what do we talk about? Um, should we flame them? The item choices? Oh, yeah, let's flame everybody's item choices. Uh, okay, Ursa's good. items are good. Played. Why do you even eat on disc? You're so stupid. Why would you not buy bottle? Why would you buy bottle after boots of travel? This eon disc could have been a Yule's and it been like 10 times as effective. <laughs> Because instead of having a 105 second cooldown, I have like an 8 second or 20 second cooldown. Why do you have eggs? What's on his courier? Does, did he just barely finish speaking me? But he had this for a while. Where's his items? I think he just finished it. Well, it's, it's used already, isn't it? <laughs> oh no, it's like 10 seconds. Yeah, he did just finish it. Okay, it's Snapfire. How did she manage to build a Yule? Or a Guardian Grease, the pick? These items are fine. I forgot to tell you, so I'm sad. Yeah. Abaddon has a Force Staff? Isn't that pretty good? I think he's supposed to go, like, try and buy a Solar Crest this game. Force staff just doesn't do that much. Oh, a fight's a fight's breaking out. Urs Oh, they screwed it up again. This guy didn't beat Kibby, he's gonna get stunned. Nope, Nix didn't use Nix didn't use stun. BKB goes down, he's going he's going for the Nix down, and he got no gets stunned by the Is Nix gonna use the stun this time? Storm Spirit dies back in the Yep. Oh they should buy back and end the game. Skyrath could blink and kill that troll. No, he's fine. Where is Ursa right now? He's hitting Raxus. Oh, he's hitting Raxus like a good boy? Good boy. Good boy, Ursa. Let's get back to flaming items. Imagine buying Yules and BKB. In the wrong order, and buying an Orchid in this game. Actually, no, there's no order. You don't buy both these items. Oh. Versus out of position, he's gonna die to this troll eventually. Yep. I mean, he, he stuck around to get the racks, this is worth. <laughs> Pango's items are good. All his item choices were really good this game. What is Phoenix? Uh, every. Okay. This is where we go. We, this is where we go hard, okay? Okay. I've yet to see Phoenix do one correct thing this game. Every fight, he uses his spells wrong. In lane, he would just walk right up to Toph, and then Toph just didn't he'd use his scatter blast until the Phoenix walked away, and then Toph would just miss. And that's not on Phoenix, okay? Phoenix didn't play well there. Phoenix screwed up like crazy. And that right there, he just wasted Icarus dive. Just poor spellcasting again. Look at that. Yules is Maybe probably fine, but I'm pretty sure he should have went either... No, Yules is fine, because you could also use it on Ursa. I think you... Yules, Glimmer Cape, and Force Staff are all decent in this game. Glimmer Cape being the best. What are you doing, man? Nyx's items okay. are... 
All right. He should buy. He shouldn't buy eggs. He should buy blink dagger. Eggs. So yeah, his items suck. Why are you buying eggs? You pick. I hate him. Oh, Dyer going for the road here. I'm trying to make sure Radiant doesn't get it. What about the big brain? Charles' items are right. He just is hitting a bunch of creeps. How are they not? Are you built a nullifier? What is this for? Nobody. Uh, let me I guess yules. I guess it's like the only they have. They do have like three yules to be fair. That's true. Like it goes on three. Phoenix. Phoenix yules. Goes on Nyx. Nyx no, yules. They have a literally every hero on their team. I take that back. No, Troll doesn't have one. Okay, no, never mind. You're right. Troll's gonna drop the cyclone though. Uh, the the T4 neutral item. Oh, he he bought the point booster and sold it. Is he gonna finally buy a blink? Has he learned? No. What's Phoenix buying? Lotus? Seems good. There's a DD bottom, I think I just saw. Yeah. That would show up on the map if there was anything. Oh my gosh, this is so boring, dude. They're just gonna wait until the Aegis is out, then they're gonna wait till it spawns. And then Dyer's gonna get Roshan again. Do I just go to bed now? I would go to bed. This game's over. Yeah, fuck it. Alright, Radiant One, fuck you guys, Twitch Stream. I hate all of you. All three Whoa, of you. Whoa! You're such a liar. How do they let them get Rosh like that? Jeez. Why is Dyer still playing? <laughs> Got this. It's, it's only yeah. it's only ten billion dollars. Is that pocket change for you? Wait a minute. There is a way to end. When this storm spirit starts playing bottom like a retard, he could gobble up the Ursa and throw him at him. Not by airlines, let's go. War Storm could just catch himself out, you know, with no buyback. What oh, the that's awkward. What the fuck? Yeah, but he wishes he. <laughs> yeah, it goes nothing. Why? What is he saving this for? Okay, <laughs> now he pops it. <laughs> Trolls caught. Does once here for sure. Hey, Zizzy. Hey, buddy. You look decent. Who is Morgan talking to? Me. Talking to my dog. Puppy. Yeah. I'm talking to Puppy, their post fight player. Like <sighs> Yikes. Dying with Stormcraft or up. Storm is dead for 20 still. What, what is uh, Storm just catching himself out, dude? Well, they can't ask you if you do it yourself, right? True. Is that how it works? Trash. <laughs>